Bryant is getting replaced. I'm going to take the logos. Wow, I've never seen it without the logo before. Oh my gosh, today is the day. Farewell. I have to go to school. I can't watch the replacement. Take one last look. That's my dog, sorry. Reversing valve. Alright, 1996, three ton. Unit starred my inches for HVAC. It's been a good four years. Don't know if a new it's gonna be a new if a new heat pump, I'll find out more as soon as I get home from school. So I can't watch the replacement or anything. I have to go. But there it is. The last time you'll ever see it. Okay, it is now later, about 4.45 p.m. It has been replaced. The whole thing is complete. The HVAC techs are gone. So, um, he, the neighbor, got a complete new system. Entire new system, new everything. New heat pump, new furnace, humidifier, and thermostat. Everything. That's what the HVAC techs told me. I didn't go in this house or anything. But thankfully the new unit is a heat pump. I was a little worried about what it would be, but it is a heat pump. So expect a lot of new videos of it. So let's take a look at it. All right, ready to see the new unit. Here it is, a new American Standard Silver Series heat pump. I cannot believe this, it totally caught me off guard. I was not expecting this at all. But my neighbor's Bryant heat pump has gotten replaced. It has been a good four years. It's the unit that started my interest for HVAC, provided lots of good memories, but it has been replaced. November 28th, 2022. So here is the new unit. Here is the first look at it. New American Standard Silver Series. It's got spine fin coils. Here's the fan motor. Doesn't say what brand it is. Yeah, I don't know what kind of fan motor it is. There's the compressor. It is an Alliance scroll. Thankfully, it's not an LG. It's got an Alliance. I'm excited, but also sad, because, you know, it's the Bryant. It's, it is from 2021. I was hoping it would be a 2022 unit, but nope, it is from 2021. It must have been sitting in the warehouse for a while. Three ton, just like the old one. American Standard Silver. Good look at the new data sheet. Two bladed fan. Got swept wind blades. They put a new rack to the side of the house. The old rusty one that the Bryant was sitting on. They got rid of that. So it has a whole a whole new uh, stand. Very nice looking. There's the logo. There's the uh, line set. It was running in heat mode earlier, now it's not, and it hasn't been. It's not very cold out here right now, though. I assume this is the temperature sensor. It is another dual fuel system, so I assume that's a temperature sensor. There's some wires. There's the reversing valve. Right there. It is a heat pump. I will get a defrost of this thing this winter. So, yep. Suction line, liquid line. There's uh, some sort of pressure switch in there. Reversing valve. There's the energy guide. 
It's a 14.5 to 16.5 sear. Let me look at the model number. Yeah. I would say it's about a 15 sear, probably. Pretty nice unit. It's a good system. Pretty high end, just like the Bryant was back in its day. So, yeah, there's a good look at that. The energy guide. Not sure what that is. Warning sticker. Backside. So, this is my neighbor's new unit. My neighbor's new heat pump. Rest in peace, 1996 Bryant. Will be missed, but I will get to have plenty of videos of this new unit here. Alright, that's it for now. I'll get it running and a starve shutdown and stuff, all that later. But for now, out.